Honorable high-level representatives, dear colleagues, dear friends, it is a great pleasure and honor for me to welcome you to the last of the three open forum conferences organized in the framework of the EPAC joint action. The European Partnership for Action Against Cancer was proposed in 2009 with the aim to strengthen the efforts to tackle cancer. The partnership provided a framework to identifying and sharing information, capacity and expertise in cancer prevention and control and engage relevant stakeholders across the EU in a collective effort. EPAC has been co-financed by the EU Health Programme and the support of the various institutions of the European Commission has been invaluable to us throughout the partnership. I am addressing you on behalf of the National Institute of Public Health Slovenia, which has assumed the challenging role of leader of the EPAC Joint Action mobilizing our 100 partners from around the world who attended numerous working groups, training events, workshops, conferences and other events which have all been organized under the various specific objectives of the partnership. I know I speak on behalf of the colleagues of, at uh, our institute who worked on EPAC over these last three years when I say that coordinating such a large joint action was a challenging yet very rewarding experience. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you, all of our partners for the intense dedication that they and you brought to the joint action. We know that these past three years have been demanding and we enjoyed collaborating with you every step of the way. We would like to recognize the contribution of every individual and organization who joined us on this collective journey. All of you have made possible the result and outputs of this partnership. We are looking forward to these next two days and are happy to have the opportunity to share with you the key findings from EPAC as well as to explore opportunities to further collaboration. Dear participants, I wish you many thought-provoking discussion and openness for new ideas which will build the steps for our future collaboration. Most of all, I am confident that the positive professional atmosphere that EPAC has generated will continue to characterize all our efforts in the future.